Hey, shitters, how's it going? Shitter Sick here. Welcome to Dark Souls 2. Now, uh, this is my first time testing or making an episode with my new headset. Uh, if I'm end up going to be keeping this one. So if you hear feedback from my headphones and my face cam, I apologize and I will know to change the volume then. But anyway, I've got a few things to talk about. There is a lot of places I have I want to explore. There is a place where we have already been, but there is a place that I didn't realize I could actually walk off to on the side, which I want to do at some point. I'm going to try kill this boss because I definitely know there's a boss in that white fog ahead. Another thing I want to show is that if you hold Y, you do wield your shield. Like, dual hand your shield. Which I think is pretty fucking cool. So, in the Iron Keep, I was... Because all the enemies are dead, as you can see. I was farming to upgrade uh, elemental weapons. And what I didn't realize is because what I, what I did was I chucked down my summon sign to, like, let people summon me into their worlds. So, um... I could get extra souls, right? And I got summoned into this world where most people went up here, pressed A against this wall and it opened up and then went through here and there was a ballista and then pressed A and opened up this wall too. So it makes me question if there's a lot of those walls where it always said Inv illusionary wall and I hit it and went fucking liars. I wonder if like that I can actually open those with by pressing A. I don't know. If you know let me know but I don't know if I'll go back. Maybe I'll go back and test it at some point. I'm not too sure but it's interesting to me that that happened. Uh, what else we got? I'm, ge I'm getting sunlight medals, but I've already, already given them to the altar. The good thing is about giving them already, I was going to save them, but I was worried that I was going to ruin my rank with the sunlight covenant. Good news, the ranks don't affect. If you change to whatever covenant you want, it won't affect your rank on that specific covenant. So if I w needed to change to a different rank to obtain an achievement, I would still keep my rank on the sunlight and can go back to the sunlight. So which is really good because one, saves me a lot of time. Two, that's very helpful for a lot of achievements I have. What else is there? Also, there is a, uh, you know, the big hole in Medulla. There's that guy that I like paid money to or souls to to give me that ladder to go down and get that thing where the poison area was. Well, he's in Medulla now. You know that giant ass well that apparently someone suggested, I, the cat suggested I should go down there somehow if only I had a ladder. I paid that guy and he put a ladder down there for me which is awesome. So uh, I've got a ladder down there now, so I want to do that at some point. And apparently I also found out that to join the Blood Covenant, there's also, instead of having to kill someone as an invader, you can go down there and there's a chest down there or, or like a pillage down there. And there is a, the item you can get from killing someone as a phantom. And you can give that or like hold on to it and talk to that guy and you can enter the Blood Covenant. Kind of like what I did with the Token of Fidelity with the Blue Sentinels, which is another thing that's amazing. Also, on that topic after a while of uh off-camera stuff i managed to like farming offline i head, headed back and he's there the tombstone popped up i paid six thousand souls and he revived uh, but the only unfortunate thing is i still have to join his fucking covenant to purchase shit but i've purchased all the stuff i needed from him and that's that so as you can see i've got a bolt weapon right now uh, off camera i've upgraded a bunch of weapons and i got a uh, fire sword electric sword poison sword Raw sword, Moondane sword, uh, I've been upgrading the magic mace, uh, I've got a raw halberd, a standard halberd, I've got an electric lightning halberd, or a lightning or electric halberd, I've got a fucking poison halberd, uh, I've been upgrading my notch whip, so it's got more bleed damage, and it's 341 attack damage, and it's really good. So I've been upgrading weapons and are farming my weapons off camera but I've stopped farming because I've ran out of titanite shards surprising which is the ones that you, is easiest to come by but no one sells any anymore unfortunately so that's that uh, so I need to kill the smelter demon offline now if you've seen my update video on my shadow Sunday I have to play offline or like I will be playing offline quite a bit because uh, the internet's gonna be cutting out soon but I also found out that Luca Teal's symbol only pops up when you're offline and I want to continue Luca Teal's story progress so I need her to survive three boss battles so if that means playing offline I'll fucking do that gesture that helped me out with the uh, snake lady boss is an NPC as well uh, I found out that he also invades you in a certain area but he's also an NPC. So I got the NPC side of him and I really am happy for that. But he's actually very hard to fight as a uh, 
uh, an invading phantom. I don't know how you come across them though. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for now. I'll show you the whole in Majula at some point, and I'll also in this week anyway, and I'll also go to that place where the photo is on my phone because that place is a place we've already been, but we haven't fully explored. So why not fully explore that place? So anyway, that's it for now. Except um, I also turned uh, that ring over there that wheel on that door which i thought would open up the door and burst flames out at me but it actually turned off the fire uh inside the thing so i can actually go through there now which is awesome but i won't do that yet because there's so many places to go and i kind of want to uh pace myself in a way you know and also i'm thinking about um going back to the very very start of dark souls 2 and branching off the paths from then on because I feel like I'm going too far closer to the end boss. Either that, or I'll um, keep going whatever way, and then when I eventually get to the end boss, because I know what the end boss looks like, I'll uh, let her kill me, or I'll homeward out, and then I'll explore everywhere else before I fight that final boss, because I don't want to end the game yet. I want to do everything, then kill the last boss, you know? So we'll get there eventually. But anyway, I'm going to turn into a human, and I spent like seven minutes talking, so I apologize for that. Uh, I need to have an, a human effigy. So now I'm a human. And there's Lucatil's summon sign. The Smelter Demon is weak against lightning. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't summon Lucatil online, yet other people that I helped online to fight the Smelter Demon could summon Lucatiel, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on with me, but anyway, Lucatiel is here. She's looking beautiful. Let's go fight the Smelter Demon and hopefully not die. But we probably will. Let's go. Hello. Oh, you look like a butthole. We do pretty decent damage. Yeah, he does like a one hit kill. It's annoying. So anytime he jumps up in the air, you gotta watch out for that. Fuck, I missed. I don't know what he's doing. He lights up his sword. Lucatil's too close to him, so she's gonna catch on fire. Oh shit. Gotta watch out for that. I don't have a... Whoa! Nope! Watch out for that move. Shit, she's about to die. I need to get in there. I don't have my... I didn't equip my miracle. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's going after me, that's not good. Oh, I need it, I need a heal. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I missed all that. No, look until don't die. No, look until isn't dying. Woo! First try, motherfuckers. First try. That was close, man. She almost died. Holy shit. Alright, so 24,000 souls and a smelter demon soul. But oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um. What is up these ways?
We did it! High fucking five! <laughs> Alright, um. Oh, bonfire! Awesome! Oh! See, uh, this. That's the that's the way to the thing over there. Awesome. All right. Well, we will. What we will do is I want to go see if uh, Strayed is the one uh, that I can trade the soul for. Hopefully, we'll see. But boss first try. Where's my list? I will mark that boss off right down the road. Can't miss it. Smelter demon marked off. So let's see if uh, Strayed will let me get a weapon. If you let me skip your dialogue, it's the only thing I can get. Is that the, is that the sword I wanted? Please don't glitch. Uh, smelter, 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 smelter sword. Yeah, that's the only sword I wanted. Yeah, that's the only sword I wanted. It's the smelter sword. It's the only sword you can get. So uh. 140, 100 fire damage. Pretty good. I got it. I did it. I did it. Alright. Feeble. Feeble. Alright, so now, uh, so I could go further in the Iron Keep, but I don't want to just yet. Now, do I go down the hole in Medulla, or do I go through the photo area? Because I can't spend these 20,000 souls on anything, right? There's nothing I can buy, really. So do I go to Medulla and go down the hole, or do I go to the photo? I feel like I should go to the photo area because one, I feel like I'm pretty strong for those guys, and two, I think that's the only place you can go in that area left, unless like a, there's another place I haven't explored yet. So let's just go there. Ah, uh, so whereabouts do I go for that? Here. So my plans for this week is just to explore a few places. Uh, after I've explored this place, which won't take long because I know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't branch off anywhere else, I will go the, down the hole in Medjula, um, because I want to get the achievement for the Blood Covenant. Then I'll probably head back to the Iron Keep and keep going that way. Unless like, you know you shadows can tell me where to go, right? Like if you want me to go any of the places where I started off, like uh, if you want me to go uh, like at the starting area, but instead of going into the house where the old ladies are, uh, if you wanted me to go uh, into, I don't know, the uh, the left side or just other places, yeah. Ooh, the smelter demon sword. Cool. What is the heavy weapon? That's awesome. What about one handing and double handing? That's so cool. That's awesome. How much damage is it? My raw sword is stronger. What about my halberd? 280. I'm my standard halberd for now. Got other weapons to change to. I'm gonna kill this prick. Alright, so, uh. What you can do is you can, uh. Where is it? Let me get rid of these pricks, because these guys are going to be annoying. Okay. So there's a lot of arrows coming my way. Um, I need to get rid of these pricks with their arrows. One hit. I don't know if I can get there. I don't even know if I can actually get here. It looks like I can because of that platform. Kind of ex Oh shit. Dead. Where's the other one? Really? Really? Oh my fucking god, the physics in this game. Fuck you. Alright, so ways to get in. I could just drop down here. Oh. Ah, fuck off. 
I think I can just drop down here. Oh fuck. Hutcha! Hutcha! A ledge. A torch. That's a drop. That's a drop. No low. I'm very un uh, unsure about this place. Nothing near. Run and jump to those. And what's down there? See, I know I'll die in these waters. Right? Do I have homeward bones? Did I even buy homeward bones? Was I smart enough to buy homeward bones? Yeah, I got three. Alright, so I feel. Feel this stuff in here, but how am I meant to get it when I know that this fall will kill me? Okay, that was okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, so I can get back. Alright. Alright, well, let's get this pillage that I, be I was wanting to get. Titan Age Shard! Yay! That wasn't worth it at all! Um... Any other pillages around? Not really, eh? Nope. Right, well... I mean, hey, even if it was kind of pointless, you know, it's... The fuck was that? It's good that I'm uh, exploring places, you know. Uh, now what we'll, what we'll do next is we'll uh, go across here, and I'll try run and jump onto that platform and go through that tunnel over there and see where that leads. Might be a shortcut, you know. I wonder how you get there. It looks like you have to fucking Prince of Persia style that and jump across those beams, but there's no way you can do that in Dark Souls. Ooh, -ho! that was close. Yeah, there's no way you can do that. The ladder. Whoa. Whoa. Really, another one of these boulder thingies? They should have just left that in Dark Souls 1, baby. What's up here? Well, I can't go back. Didn't realize that. What a, a waste of uh, time. Nothing up here. Oh well. I can go back. The jumping in this game is fucking terrifying, I swear to god. See, I don't know which way to go. I've got 23,000 souls. I don't really want to lose them. So do I, do, do I go down or up? You know what? I'm going to wear that ring because I know I can repair it. And I'll just use the souls that i got to repair it. And let's just go up here. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Who I the fuck? just daydreaming, I think. Okay. My name is Kale. I am a traveler like yourself. Okay. 
I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Oh, cool. Why cartography, you ask? I didn't ask that, but okay. Drang Lake, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Yes. Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. Uh-huh. Oh. I've made it my temporary home. Oh! As something of a squatter, I'm afraid. So it's his house. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Drang Lake. Ooh! Now Do I get I'm it? traveling the land to prove it. Do I get it? Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait. No. That wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Uh... Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps, just like me. Sure. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Sorry. I'm down. Yeah, take this. A key to the mansion. Yes! What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Interesting. I'll be back in Majula soon. Okay. Perhaps we will meet again. We will. And discuss maps at our leisure. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Okay. So that's all I can talk to him about. So he's giving me a key to his place, that house that I've been trying to get into for a very long time in Majula. This is at the top. Alright, so let's, ch let's check down at the bottom then. Oh, that's just a hole into nothing. Alright, well then. Well, I'm glad I did that. That was actually worth it. Alright, well, uh, I'm not going to homeward because I want to save it for dire situations. So I will see you back in Majula where we will actually open up that mansion and explore it. Because even though he warned me about it, I'm curious to see what's inside. I mean, in real life, I wouldn't go spooking around because I'm a pussy, but... <laughs> what the fuck? But in game, sure. I'll go have exploration. Might get a few scares and spooks. Let's do it. What? Do the Harlem shit. Do the Harlem shit. Alright, let's go up here. I haven't got the king, uh, King's Ring yet to go into that door there, unfortunately. So I guess technically we haven't explored this place yet. Uh, there's also that place where that fiery thingy is that I can't go yet either. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna jump on this bonfire, go back to Madula. Woo! I'm happy! I'm fucking happy! So let's offline, let's check how many deaths we've got. 108 deaths! I've had 108 deaths. That's crazy. Alright, alright, alright. So, I'll show you a couple of things before we before I have to end the episode. I'll have to explore the mansion in the next one. But, uh, so we got this guy here. Uh, I bought the assassin's, uh, or thief set or whatever off him. Uh, I got the ladder that goes down here. Now, there was an option to buy the, a ladder, long ladder, or extra long ladder, but I bought the extra long ladder because I didn't know, I was unsure, uh, what happens if you buy different ladders. So, I guess we'll find out. I'm very unsure. I don't, I think maybe the, the shorter ladders give you the, um, other pillages that are on there. I don't know. We'll see. Used house key. Ooh. So does this give me a map, um, the map to Medulla? That's a big ass fucking book. Village. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Fuck yeah, we're gonna be doing that in the next episode. Um, where's the stone map, buddy boy? 
I don't see it anywhere. Unless I'm just fucking blind, but I don't see no stone map. We're gonna explore that spot in the next episode, then uh, we're going to... Uh, where's the next Pharaoh's Lock Stone? And the Iron Keep. We'll see what that does. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go. So uh, please leave a like, share, and enjoy. Scar might have me a lot, seeing this episode, whatever I may. Stay out something new, love it, bye, and uh, good progress. Hey, Shadows, how's it going? Shadows, take care. Welcome to Shadow Sunday. It is a four on nine past four p.m. And yeah, welcome to Shadow Sunday. Now I'm making this video. Uh, because again, another update video. I don't want to. I actually had a bunch of other videos planned, like I had a video planned for the Shadow Sunday. That looks spooky, man. It's giving me the spooks. Spooky spooks.